All right, guys, today I am here with Daniel Hutto, a criminal defense attorney in the state of Arizona, who is an expert when it comes to DUI defense, legal defense. Um, so we want to talk today about DUIs. Please don't get one, but if you do, we want to talk about the ramifications and what you can expect, and then also what Daniel can do to help you out. So, Daniel, thanks for being with me. Yeah, no pleasure. Thank you for having me. No problem. Um, so I have a few questions for you. Let's start with the first one. So let's say it's my first time I've ever been convicted for you DUI. Tell me for sure what is going to happen to my license. And then also tell me what's the worst case scenario that's going to happen when it comes to MVD and my insurance. Okay. So there's a distinction there. So it is convicted. We're not talking about if you're investigated or arrested for a DUI. We're talking about you've been convicted of a, a first time DUI offense. Okay. Um, everybody can expect to have at minimum their license suspended. Now the difference of when and how and what duration is kind of to be determined, but everyone can expect if you're convicted of a DUI, your license will be suspended for at least 90 days. Um, additionally, someone can expect with a conviction for DUI, if it's not DUI drugs, they're gonna have an interlock device on their vehicle for a minimum of 12 months up to 18 months. Wow. Uh, in addition to that interlock, uh, someone will be required to do traffic survival school. And that is actually a component of the points that someone will realize with the DUI conviction. Uh, DUI conviction does carry eight points. So it's considered a major violation in Arizona. So MBD will do those eight points. And then the suspension I talked about in the beginning could be worse if you're a speeder or you have a bunch of traffic violations that are unrelated to your DUI. Um, so someone could find themselves having an additional suspension from the one I previously discussed because of points accumulation. Wow, I didn't realize that. So if you already have a bad driving record and you get a DUI, it's gonna be even worse. <laughs> okay. If you happen to you know, run, a, run a red light and have a couple speeding tickets and then get a DUI, find yourself having a DUI suspension in addition to a point suspension. So um, I've represented plenty of people where it just seems like the MBD consequences start to compound on them. Wow, okay. Hopefully that scares people enough to never get a DUI. But let's say someone who is not very smart, they get a DUI and then they get a second DUI. So answer that same question for me. If I get a second DUI, what's going to happen? <laughs> so again, not talking about the legal consequences with court, talking about insurance and MBD, um, someone's going to have their license revoked, not suspended for a second offense. And revocation is far more difficult to cure and fix with MBD down the road. Um, their license will be revoked for one year with a second conviction. I don't care if it's a regular DUI or a super extreme DUI. Um, they'll still be assessed uh, an interlock requirement. That interlock requirement will come after your revocation. So you'll have a year of rev revocation and then anywhere between 12 to 24 months of interlock requirement following that revocation period. Same thing goes with eight points on your driving record, traffic survival school, um, and then the insurance ramifications, we haven't yet talked about SR22, which is that high risk driver's insurance. That can be a product of a first time offender as well as a second offender. But with a second offender, you've now had, remember I talked about a DUI being a major violation. Second offense is your second major violation. You're gonna realize that SR22 requirement. Okay, and now is there a time frame? Let, let's say you get one DUI and then your next DUI isn't until 10 years from now. Is there like a time frame where they're going to hit you for both of them? There is. And so, and that time frame can differ um, depending on what a prosecutor does in the court and what MVD does. So typically seven years is the window for someone's second offense to be aggravated with MVD as well as the court. Um, so any second violation within seven years, MVD will treat it as a second offense, regardless if we resolve your case as a first time offense with the judge or with the prosecutor. Um, or if they choose not even to uh, aggravate you um, after a trial with a second offense DUI. So MVD says anything within seven years, regardless of how the court or the prosecutor resolve it. Okay. Okay. Let's try and scare them one more. Well, let's go one step further. So on top of all of that, what can I expect my legal costs to be after each offense? So the legal costs can be quite significant. It, Arizona has some of the most severe and harsh DUI penalties 
in the country. Um, not only the financial components of mandatory fines and fees with, um, uh, with excuse me, the courts, uh, in addition to things like jail costs, uh, counseling is a required component. We've talked about suspensions and revocations, uh, the, the, the eight points on your record. Most of those things, in order to cure them, require you to do some sort of DUI education and counseling. So you have to pay for that. Um, and then finally, we have the MVD components of, well, what do you do when you can't drive for a year? Are you Ubering everywhere? Are you, you know, hiring a driver? Are you taking the bus? Um, there's that added cost that is different for everyone. Um, and then the interlock. Interlocks are not free. It's a large industry as well. And so for that one year and up um, requirement for, for even a first or second time offender uh, can be thousands of dollars. So when everything's all said and done, not ex including legal fees as it relates to finding a competent attorney, um, you can find yourself spending upwards of $10,000 for a first offense DUI, no wow. problem. Wow, okay. So don't drink and drive, guys. Very simple. <laughs> all right, so last question. I think I'm a pretty smart guy. I'm really good with Google. <laughs> Should I contact an attorney after an arrest or a charge, or can I do it myself? What do you say? <laughs> So you absolutely have to contact a competent defense attorney. A lot of attorneys like myself offer free consultations over the phone anytime, day or night, uh, as it relates to you simply being arrested or investigated for a DUI. Um, so you have to at least contact counsel to get an idea of what you're dealing with. No two cases are the same. No two clients are the same. Although we've talked about the general penalties that can result, um, that doesn't mean that everybody that's investigated or charged with a DUI has these requirements. Because again, cases get dismissed, people get not guilty, you know, verdicts or pleas are changed or amended. Um, one other thing that people need to be aware of is just because you have been, uh, you have not been convicted of a DUI does not mean that MVD won't start taking action against your license. Anyone in Arizona that has been investigated or arrested for a DUI can have their license suspended civilly under what's known as the admin per se law. Uh, that takes effect 15 days after the arrest. So wow. within the first 15 days of being stopped by the officer, you could find yourself having your life suspended regardless of what the court does, regardless of what happens with the charges, just the allegation and investigation alone can affect your license. So you have to contact an attorney quickly, find someone that'll yeah. give you that free advice consultation like myself and, and figure out what your options are. Perfect. Okay. And for all you guys watching, I will list Daniel's information below so that you'll be able to contact him. Um, please, guys, don't drink and drive. It's not safe. It's not going to be fun for you. And as Daniel's explained, it's going to be a pain and it's going to drag on, it seems like, for a very long time. So don't drink and drive. That's simple. Daniel, thanks for being with me. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.